You are listening to the IoT for All Media Network. And, and what makes a use case more optimal for cellular or what what kind of requirements are necessary for cellular to be the right fit? I mean, when we're talking about cellular, we're talking about potentially MBIoT, LTEM, uh, Cat1, 5G. You know, we're, we're talking about a lot of different ways cellular can be uh, used in IoT. But is are there certain kind of high level parameters that you're able to look at for a specific use case based on the needs that it has to say, okay, this is better for MBIoT, this is better for LTEM and kind of how that decision is made? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, the first maybe, Ryan, when you are positioning cellular versus other wireless technology, sure. cellular, the key value is really it's global. You have it everywhere. You don't have to run and operate in networks. It's done by the carrier. So in other words, you can embed in any device cellular technology and it will run. You don't have to know that this is running there. While obviously if you use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you need to pair your device. You need to have a gateway to connect to it and do this work. So by definition, as soon as you go global and I don't, I want to have connection that no one has to pair it, cellular is the best technology. Obviously, it comes with a little bit of extra cost, but this is the best in terms of use cases. Now, inside cellular, your question is, is, is key. When you are using technology, uh, mainly, uh, you know, uh, you have very low speed. When you're talking about, for example, tracking to get just only positioning, maybe smart meter to read the meter, make limited, num- the speed is very limited. Ideally, there is LTM and NBIUT. And you know, the difference between the two is not that major. It's really a question of the operator, what they have, uh, you know, you see today what they have deployed. China, India, they deployed NBIUT. US, Europe is mainly LTM. So our devices support the two protocol, by the way. So it allows you not really to, to struggle between the two and you can use either one, but they give they deliver the, the performance and power and performance and cost. Then you go to a higher category like category one. Here you start talking with use cases where you have voice, you need speed like for camera, uh, but you don't need very high speed. You need like maybe a few hundred kilobit per second, maybe one megabit per second. And so mm. category one is ideal for this. Uh, and the good things about category one that it's, global all the carrier have it there is no difference in other words you can move from any country to other country you get cat one available you don't have to struggle one and then obviously if you go farther in the speed now you need uh, uh, latency very uh, 5g is ideal for latency you know uh, higher speed like for robotic uh, robotic or other application like this or maybe fixed wireless uh, broadband at home then you need really higher speed you're talking about 100 megabit a one gigabit and above speed, this kind of application. And obviously, depend on the use case, uh, you pick the right category there in terms of cellular. Makes sense. And also, when you're talking about MBIoT and uh, LTEM, you, you kind of, it sounded like they're, they're obviously very similar, but from my understanding, there are some different situations when it comes to the types of assets you're potentially tracking or using this for that you would choose MBIoT over LTEM, whether it's fixed or mobile type assets. Does that play into consideration when you're thinking about this as well? This is true, you know, I mean, MBIoT is not mobile, it's more for fixed. So LTEM give you more the value of the mobility, okay. a little bit more speed. And very honestly, from power advantage, the two, they can, they, they match, you know, there is not, it's really, uh, you know, you could hear some people saying NBIUT is more optimal and power is not true. Uh, it's, however, if you go NBIUT only, you could have lower cost. You can save a couple of dollars on the solution because, you know, the solution is a little bit, uh, obviously, less complex. 